Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at downgrading from iOS 15 back to iOS 14. I'm sure you guys have had some time to play around with the iOS 15 beta, and if it's just not stable enough for you, for any reason you wanna go back to iOS 14 and keep your data, uh, this video is gonna show you exactly how to do that. So it's uh, pretty similar to last year. This tutorial is going to work on any iOS device that you have that's running iOS 15. Uh, the main catch is you will need a computer, either Mac or Windows based, to do this downgrade process. There's no way to do it directly on the device. So the way this process is gonna work is we're going to download the latest version of iOS 14. We're going to back up our iOS device, either in Finder or in iTunes on Windows. Then we're going to modify our backup that we just did. We're going to restore our iPhone to iOS 14. And finally, we're going to restore the modified iOS 15 backup to our device running iOS 14. It sounds a little bit more complicated than it is, but I'm going to walk through this entire process. So first off, let's go ahead and start directly on the device. There's two things that you'll need to do before we get started. First, we're gonna go into the settings app. Real fast, I'll show you guys that I'm currently on the iOS 15 beta. Now navigating back to the home screen here, right at the top on your iCloud account, we're gonna go down to Find My and turn off Find My iPhone. All right, so with that service off, we can navigate again back to the home page of the settings app. We're gonna scroll down to general and scroll down to VPN and device management. And now we're going to uninstall or remove the iOS 15 beta profile. And in this case, a restart is not required right at this second. So we can go ahead and exit out of the settings app. Now is the point in time where we're going to connect our iPhone via a lightning cable to our Mac or Windows-based PC. When you plug it in, we're gonna go ahead and trust the connection on the iOS device. We can go to uh, our iPhone within Finder on a Mac or within iTunes again on Windows and trust it there as well too. So with our iPhone connected, we're gonna go to any internet browser and go to ipsw.me. We're going to here download the iOS 14 software file for our iPhone. So we can select iPhone. I have an iPhone 10 in this video. And we're now going to select any IPSW file that is highlighted in green. As of recording this video, it's only iOS 14.6. Uh, with that uh, selected, we can just go ahead and click download. It says right here, if that doesn't work, you can copy this URL to your clipboard and then uh, paste it just in a tab here at the top. There we go, the download has started for me now. So I went ahead and did this process before recording this video so we can move right along here. So while your iPhone uh, software is downloading, another thing that can run simultaneously is backing up your iOS device if you guys wanna keep data that you've collected while running iOS 15. So within Finder, again, within iTunes, just navigate to this pane. Instead of backing up to iCloud, we're going to back up to our computer. Now this is really important for this step so we can modify this iPhone backup later. So we can go ahead and click backup now. All right, so now that our device has been backed up to our computer, uh, we're going to do that step I was talking about of modifying this backup that is was done on iOS 15 so that we can use it later and install it or restore it to an iOS device running iOS 14. So to do this in Finder, we're going to click Manage Backups. We're going to select that backup that we just did, right click, show in Finder. It highlights the backup folder. We're going to go into that and click on this info.plist. Now you can open this in proper tree or Xcode, or you can actually just open it in a text editor as well too. So to keep things simple, I'll go ahead and do that. Now on this file right here, we're looking for product version, and we're just going to change this 15 to a 14 and click save. So that's all we need to do. I'll run through this process real fast on a Windows-based PC within iTunes. So when you first connect your device, again, you're going to want to go into iTunes and trust the connection if you haven't already. 
if your iPhone shows up right here and you followed along so far doing a backup to your personal local computer, you should be good at this point in time. So exiting out of iTunes, we're just gonna click Windows R on the home screen. We're gonna type this into the run command. It's percent app data percent, click OK. We're gonna to navigate to Apple computer, mobile sync and backup. Now this is the latest backup that we just did. Within that, again, we're gonna to go to the info file, file and open that up just within notepad. Again, we're gonna scroll down right here. You can either search for this, I just happen to see it, but product version, we're going to change 15.0 to 14.0 and then go ahead and save that file. So now on Windows, you can go back into iTunes and get ready for the restore. So when you guys are ready to do the restore, we're going to hold down Option on a, a Mac or Shift on a Windows-based PC. And while that key is held, hover over Restore iPhone and click that button. It will pull up this dialog box. We're going to navigate to that iPhone file, uh, the software file that we downloaded. Then we can click OK and click Restore. So I'll skip past this part, but this is the actual Restore part. This is going to completely wipe our iOS devices and install iOS 14, uh, just a blank copy of it. In just a second, we'll go ahead and restore our data back to our device once it's running iOS 14. All right, so the iPhone has been restored back to iOS 14, but again, we don't have our data yet. You can just go ahead and scroll through these on-screen steps. Uh, just one thing to note, go ahead and get past a couple of these screens real fast. So once you get to this screen right here, we're gonna select the bottom option, not to transfer our apps and data right now. We actually don't even need to sign in to iCloud just as of yet. Finish skipping past all of this stuff real fast. And now we're back on iOS 14. If I go into the settings app, we're running iOS 14.6 because it's still currently being signed. So now again, we can go ahead and plug our iPhone back into the computer. So we're going to navigate back to our iPhone uh, this is the point where we're going to restore that backup that we modified on iOS 15 to be able to be installed on iOS 14. We can go ahead and select that. And now our data is going to be restored back to our device. So I'll let this process finish up real fast and show you guys the proof. All right, so here's the moment of truth, guys. We've restored back to iOS 14. We've also restored our data. You can go ahead and set up these on-screen steps if you want to, but I'm just gonna skip past them for the purpose of this video. And here we have it, welcome to iPhone. And the telltale sign that you have your data, guys, is the iOS 15 wallpaper has transferred to our device running iOS 14. If I go into the settings app, general about, right there we have software version iOS 14.6. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. A huge thanks for how well the iOS 15 beta install video has done, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. I'll catch you guys real soon, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.